All right, how's it going, everybody? And welcome to the Dragon and the Prince, aka the Price of Survival DLC. Uh, I know I am a little late at it. I apologize. I honestly, I always forget about these things um, because they're they're this little side missions, little side dungeons. Uh, anyways, a new mission is waiting for you in Patiti Experience, Triumph, and Tragedy in the Price of Survival. You can access this mission in the side mission menu. Got you. Okay. I don't know exactly who we gotta talk to. Um, let's see, the price of survival's down here. Looks like we have to go outside and talk to one of them. Maybe. All right, it's in the uh, the little alcove. Oh, actually, last time. Oh, that might be her. That might be her. Oh no 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 no! He's got the thing. Let's talk to him. I told you that is not a toy. What is it? That's my new trophy. It was Amaru's most treasured possession. He wore it on a string around his neck, close to his heart. But you found a way to steal it. I had to. Do you know what it is? It's a cipher wheel. A coded message. Yes, and if Amaru goes to the trouble of putting a message in code, we have to know what that message is. Let me try. Maybe the code leads to the place of the flooded underworld. In the Mayan Cross, water comes from the south, and south is associated with the color yellow. Road, mountain, sky, east. That seems promising. Lining up the symbols has given me a possible location. Do these mean anything to you? Mountain Road, Sky Road, East Mountain? Yes. Amaru and his family lived near the base of the Eastern Mountain while he was growing up. So he would know the area very well, making it the perfect place for him to hide something important. I'll let you know what I find. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, fantastic, wonderful. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, where is it on the map? Uh, right, the dragon and the prince go to the east mountain. Got you. Okay, that's that should be too hard. Ooh, got some dialogue as well. Cipher wheel position number one. Maya cipher wheel original position. Uh, nice. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, wait, what? Third. Cypher wheel position number two. Okay, I'm, I'm I'm learning the Maya language, real easy, real easy. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, uh, let's head out here real quick. There we go. I already passed it. <laughs> I already passed it. Okay, maybe is okay. I think it's this guy. Excuse me. Yes. I was wondering, have you lived around here for long? All my life, which makes for a very, very long time. <laughs> then you must have known Amaru when he was younger. Did I know Amaru? <laughs> yes, I certainly did, and that brother of his too. Amaru was the older one, the quieter, more studious. Both boys had a passion for the unknown, for discovering the world around them. But where Sairi was the explorer, the adventurer, Amaru was the scholar. Together, they were a magnificent team, each one pushing the other to great heights. So they were close. <laughs> Inseparable. All brothers fight from time to time. But these two, they'd settle their disagreements in a matter of minutes, and their bond would be even stronger for it. And as for anyone else? <laughs> Nobody was allowed to get close. It was a game to them, keeping secrets only they knew. They had a secret hideaway, a private code, everything. A hideaway? Yes. They got there by climbing. Sorry, it's been ages. Uh, what did they call it? The Sky Road? That's it, that's it. The road to the sky. <laughs> I'd like to follow that road. 
Do you have any guesses as to where it might be? Oh, <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but you're at the base of a mountain. Better start climbing. <laughs> Who's that guy in the background who just keeps on rapping? Machete, 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 machete. <laughs> okay, climb the road of the sky. Okay, do I have to just climb up? Okay. Ooh, what was this? What was that? Gold! Dang, someone just like leaving their change. Obviously, it was a wishing well of, sor of sorts. Alright, so this has got to be the, uh, the road to the sky. Hopefully, uh, I don't screw up as much as I did the uh, last time when I uh, played this. Granted, it took me a while to like get used to the actual controls again because it's been a been a little bit. Pick up the jade as well. What is this? Ooh, ceremonial sensor. Nice. Okay. What do we have? Made it. The dragon and the prince find a more secret place. The hidden city. Okay, looks like we gotta go underwater though. It's been a while since I have to do underwater stuff, so I'm I'm probably I might drown in all honesty. Oh yeah, we gotta watch out for like piranhas too, maybe. Oh shoot, is she gonna run out of breath? Am I the only person, like... I can't be the only person that does this, but like whenever you watch a movie and they like dive underwater with them, you can take a deep breath with them and see if you, uh, you can handle it. I'm gonna go the quiet route. Oh, did he not die? There we go. I was about to say. I was about to say, I mean, it, it, I don't think he raised any alarms. I did shatter his helm, though. Dang. Ooh, right bumper? Oh, that's right. I set up, I set traps. I got that skill. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Can I go back and disarm that? Nope. Okay, it is what it is. He is now a bomb. <laughs> he is now a bomb if someone ever decides to go and investigate. What happened to this man? Boom! They're gone. They are gone. <laughs> I like my little skull uh, backpack. Look at that little thing in there. It's, it's all decorations, man. It's all about the decorations. The zip. Timbu yakja lele kuchil psone mashanu kabetalti le piskinov kutalobo. Suna le chobakobo. Mishbekin hachku satalob tulakalil. Matu. Get it. Stuff kills for the win. Hell yeah. Oh shit. Someone's coming. Samaru tsoku pistale. Maybe. Oh no, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. Um, honestly, just in case. I don't see the other guy. Oh, 
Mach kom kattig tid. I don't remember if there's a, uh, a thing I can do to uh, get like a, a throw a pebble or anything like that. I totally forget. I'm gonna try to be as quiet as possible. I'm gonna try not to raise any alarms. I'm just gonna do what I can. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's right. I got that bone axe thing now too. Llama le cuchil amaru. Yo olvishi. In kate kin wale tumen ma. In wohel tak pehla. Guayan le cuchil kacha. Yetel in wohel amaru bey ukat kapatak kacha. I am the stealth god. <laughs> Alright, I'm waiting, waiting. Aw, man, which way are you, are you just going to stand there and look pretty? Ooh, damn. Maybe I can... Okay, apparently the trap went off. <laughs> apparently the trap went off. Ooh, I got his attention for a second, I think. Oh, I think he's coming. There we go. Someone else is coming. <laughs> the bodies. <laughs> let the bodies hit the floor. Let's just keep on coming. <laughs> we're making a death pit. That's what we're doing. A death pit. <laughs> oh, there we go. Is there anyone else? Or did I get them all? I think I got them all. At least down here. There we go, there we go. He might see the body, he might see the body, but that's okay. That's okay. Gotcha! Gotcha! <laughs> oh man! Stealth kills for the win, man! Heck yeah! Okay. We're doing good, we're doing good, we're sneaking. Gosh! Oh shit! There we go, right in the cross, man! 
Pila Willash, Telo. Oh no, we... Telo. Give me says let's chalk is bajo. Okay, okay, well... Alright. I mean, that wasn't as stealthy as I was hoping. But... At least we're back into the stealth mode. Did I get the other guys? Oh, dang, I did. Okay, cool. You know, that, that's one thing I haven't been... Oh, that's right. If I kill them oh, with a stealth kill, I automatically loot them. I gotta kill them with the, uh, the bow or something to actually uh, have to loot them. That's right. Which this guy means I should have to loot him. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. this drum is for but oh mm. all right no one's coming we're good we're good we're good Ooh, look at that trap Looks like solid ground. Just trying to be cautious. No wonder Amaru had it so well guarded. This is Sairi's tomb. There's an inscription in Latin. I will never hesitate again. I wonder what that means. There's also a key. All right, let's try red in the north. Dancing tree, water, nine. It also means many. Hmm, dancing water near many trees. I think I know what fits that description. Okay, the dragon and the prince locate the many tombs in the dancing waters. Okay, which is... Let's see, uh, zoom out. Oh no, I can't zoom out that far. Ah! Over here! Got you! We gotta, we gotta back up a little bit. Um, can I... Ooh, wait, there's a thing! I almost missed this. It was blending in super well. I don't have all the, the ciphers unlocked, so I mean, this is this still stuff I want to do, eventually. There you go. I might not take fall to get- Ooh, hold on. We can dig some treasure up. Anything good? We got some experience- no. Oh, I, I didn't do that. That was just a campfire. My apologies. I just saw something on the ground. I'm like, oh, sweet, I gotta pick that up as well. Out of my way. I'm full and <laughs> I'm dirty. Oh, man. I wonder what these people think of Lara. Like, she's just running around with different clothes on a constant basis. All right, I was gonna say that maybe I can get uh, cleaned a little bit. But this, this looks suspicious. It's not it, though. It still looks suspicious, though. But uh, ooh, what was that? Okay, this I should be close. Yeah, okay, I'm I'm close to it. It's this right here. 
Let's clean up. Um, maybe? There we go. I was right. I was right. I just had to get to the right spot. It was all... Oh, my God. And with all the places that Lara's been, and she's crawled through, do you ever feel like she ever worries, like, oh shit, I'm gonna get stuck. I'm gonna get stuck in here. Or would the thrill of just, uh, you know, learning about new archaeology kind of push her? And that's kind of cool. That's like all hidden away in here. And we got into the trap. Gotta watch our feet, man. Never know. Never know. Pick up the gold. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, we gotta break this down. Here we go. Smashy, smashy. Come on. Couple more. Couple more. Rip it out. Rip it out. Wonder where this will lead. To another tomb, maybe. Up, up, ooh, what was that? <clears throat> oh, what is this? Interesting. Careful, careful. Definitely don't want to get too close to those, uh, that spinning wall of spikes and death. Get out. Alright, I should be able to make that now. There we go. Oh, wait, that's just leading back to where we came from. Is it not? Yeah, that's just leading us back down. Yeah. I had to remember which ways to go. Totally forgot I'd do that. It's like I only play this once a month or something like that. Alright. There we go. And then now we can uh, we can zip over. Or not zip over, but crawl over. Same difference. That's gonna zip down. We obviously do not want to be a part of that. Ooh, 
Ooh, I almost got hit by that last second. Okay, there's no, uh, nothing to do there, but that does not look stable. What did I say? Oh, shit. I Nice. There we go. There we go. That's going to lead us over here. Which then that should let us... Um... Oh, never mind. And I can't... I have to hit that up. I have... I've got to submerge this side somehow. Get one of those cranks going. The only way I can think of doing it is I gotta get that to here. But I can't do that because the water's here. in the way. Oh my gosh! Are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? Wow. Wow. Okay, yeah, there we go. We're good, we're good. <laughs> I thought I had to connect that to something. Oh well, oh well. You live in there, you live in there. We'll, we'll, we'll figure this out, man. We'll figure this out. <sighs> now we can get up here. Uh, the other thing on the other side should be uh, open. Open to us. <clears throat> ah, yeah. See, we can connect that there. Fantastic. Amazing. But, wait, that doesn't do anything. Oh shit, it doesn't. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. But I can do this. side. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that should, yeah, that's definitely got that gate open. Now, I wonder, can I hit that from here and it'll pull it? Uh, 
I need uh, the water to fill back up. gonna swim back over here just to take a look at it to see if there's something I can pull a lever or something. That works too. I need I need definitely need some more arrows though. That used quite a few of them up. Okay. Ugh, rotten food. From Trinity. How does How Trinity... did they find this cave? That is what I'm wondering. The key fits this chest. Maybe the answers are inside. Sairi, here is some food to begin distributing to our people. I wish I'd managed to obtain it sooner, before you went hunting. Especially since, as your older brother, the responsibility was mine, not yours. But you have always been as stubborn as the rest of our family. It comes from Trinity, that secret group of outsiders I was telling you about. They have promised me more, but first there is something I have to do for them. You can find me at the old village, beyond the gate that was put up to protect people from the Red Fungus. Amaru. Whatever the secret of this cipher wheel is, I don't think it has to do with the current conflict. I think it's older and much more personal. With luck, I'll find the explanation in the old village. Alright, find the gates in the old village. Alright, old village. Old village, there you are. Okay. Wait, no, that's a side mission. No, no. Uh, find the gate in the old village. Yeah, yeah, that's the same one. So I can probably cut through here, I think. Give me those berries. Oh, oh, is it? Look at that muck. Ugh. I do like the effect that they put in this game. It's it's kind of <laughs> quite amazing, actually, if you think about it. The the progress of detail. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Slush, slush, slush. Even like the, the boot tracks, look at that. That's so cool. Alright, I'm just gonna hit this up so we have it for future, uh... Ooh, actually I have a skill point. I have one skill point, I can't use that. Alright, but we do have a new fast travel point, and we are basically here. Okay, maybe I can't go up that way. I might have to go through like a side door or something. Hmm. No, that was it. This is the old village. Is how do I get up there? <laughs> nope. There we go. I had to do a little, little trickery. All right, yeah, this is definitely it. Got to protect from the fungus. Okay, you're entering this tomb. Your current practice will be saved. Do you want to continue? Of course. Okay, the dragon and the prince follow the path taken by Amadu. Finally in the tomb. What is this red fungus that they were talking about, though? Red fungus! Red fungus! <laughs> 
you gotta love like how expansive this world could be. Like just out of nowhere, you can find an open gap somewhere, and then all of us, all of a sudden, this must be the red fungus Amaru mentioned in his letter. It's obviously deadly. And I'm gonna go towards it. Okay. Ooh. I forgot what I was saying. Oh well. Um, we can go right. No, we cannot. We ha Ooh, no, actually we can. We can go that way, or we can go up. Let's take a look back here real quick. Or nope. Some more decipherage. Amuru's notes. Page removed from a journal. Nah, I'm not gonna look at that right now. I hope she. I hope. Honestly, I hope they Trinity go in. Trinity must have put these here. They should still be functional. I. D I really do hope they go into what the fungus is. Well, was that supposed to happen? All we did was break that. What was the counterweight to? Yeah, we're just gonna carry a cannon d deep into the caves. That sounds logical. Ooh. Oh shit! Go 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 go! Okay, we're we're in good standing, but that that was a booby trap. This red fungus has got to be some sort of like, um, like poison trap that malfunctions or something. Kind of like the white powder. The gate wasn't just for protection; it was to hide this tomb, and Amaru knew it was here. Couldn't they also have like just cleared all this stuff out? Yeah, probably don't fall on that. Honestly, it just looks like rotten tomatoes. I mean, that's what I get the vibes out of. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be rotten t potatoes, though. Or tomatoes, but... The spores but, are too deadly to cross, but I can't pry my way through that barrier. Hmm. Oh, yeah, another cannon! Uh-oh. Dog. <laughs> That, that's bad. That, that's bad. Don't do that. Uh, okay, there's a counterweight. Got you. Okay, so... There we go. I need to get something, drop it on top of there. The cannon will move up. There we go. <laughs> Definitely not enough. There. Ooh, don't stand in that. Okay. Uh, there's nothing I can attach that to. That's gotta be used for something. 
We gotta attach it to something. Okay, there's a crank. Okay. And how does that help me over here? Here, pull it over and then I'll have to see where that takes me. I still don't know 100% where we're all we're going to be doing with this thing yet. All right, now <laughs> what's the likelihood I'll be able to pull this? Okay, she's she, not even struggling, not even struggling one bit. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Come on. The cart's not in the right position yet. Okay, I was cranking it the wrong direction. I got you. Ta-da! There we go. Got you! Nice! I think the audio is bugged. <laughs> I think the audio might be a little bit bugged. Okay, so you can't run and jump on that thing. That's what I was trying to do. I just went straight into the pit of death. So, yeah, oopsie daisies on that. <laughs> okay, let's just go through this tomb. Uh, obviously, you probably have to go that way. I'm just doing a quick look around. There's nothing here. Is this the mural? No. Ooh, get the gold. Actually, it looks like this might have been the way over here. Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. Okay, we have made progress. We're inside the cave. Inside the tomb. Wait, come on, you, you can fit through that. There we go. Lara, the adventuring archaeologist with no fears whatsoever, enters the tomb of death. God, and despair. so many bodies. I have to avoid those spores. Yeah, you do. Um... Just so we can get to that, uh, that slide thing. Okay. And you! Alright, no, I got I think I got a dangle. Maybe not. I was thinking maybe I'd uh, go over. There we go. That's what I needed to do. I do need a dangle. 
but it's from this point. The Raptor's Eye. Aim at your enemies, tag them for persistent tracking. Nice. This entire construction is a test for the leadership of Trinity. If Amaru had fully committed to Trinity sooner, they would have given him the food then, before Sairi went hunting and got killed. I will never hesitate again. Amaru was making a promise to his dead brother in a language no other Pytetian could read. There is one person who can confirm all of this for me. Alright, we can go back to the old man. Gotcha. Just slog through this mud. Don't mind me. Yeah, honestly, I thought it was some sort of beef or something. And I can't believe I mean, all that rotten food just to waste, man. You would think like the juices and things like that from the uh, the food would have like rotted away some of that wooden uh, container ship. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go talk to this old man real quick. And then we got the uh, the serpent coming out soon. The serpent DLC that should be available uh, probably in a week or two, most likely. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. It's gonna come out, dude. I am going the wrong way. I need to make a hard right. All right, let's just cut through these people's houses. They don't have to know where we're coming through here. We're just. This is not cutting through. This is going somewhere else. Is there an upstairs? Oh, boo, I can't get on there. Dang. Okay. I think maybe I can take this. And steal these guys' stuff. <laughs> Shh. The woven bag. They don't have to know. We, I took it. They don't have to know. All right, here we go. Take that hard right. Move back. Steal some berries real quick. And then we should. That should. Yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. Up in that cove area. Mm, impossible. I can't carry anymore. Oh, Lara, you can. You got plenty of pockets. Just put it in that little monkey skull of yours. All right, here we go. Ah, it's you again. Did you find what you're looking for? I think so. More than I was expecting. You look troubled. What's on your mind? Did you ever see Amaru back here after... after the famine? You mean after his brother died? I told you they were inseparable. When Sairi died, a part of Amaru died along with him. Not long after it happened, he came back here once, and then never again. He devoted himself entirely to the cult of Kukul Khan. I guess his brother's death changed his priorities forever. Thank you. You've been more helpful than I can say. Koryanka was right. This wheel is important to Amaru. It might be the most precious thing he owns. We have no reason, and no right, to keep it from him. Alright, let's get it back, let's get it back. Now the question is, are we gonna hand it over to Amaru? We're like, we found this, we thought you might want it, and see what his reactions are. You know, I mean, there's, there's that possibility. No, I don't want any, thank you though. I don't know what he was saying. I need to get that guy's, that kid's dice back, I think. I think that's what it was. It was either dice or something else that uh, someone stole. I still need to do that, uh, that quest. Alright, come here. Ladder up.
Now, where is my crack in the wall? There we are. There's home. I mean, honestly, with the end of the game, I think we should have been able to at least get out of this crack, you know? Go to a, like, a small little hut or something. They should have at least done that for us, instead of having to live in here. Although, at least we're away from the elements. Thank you again for all you have done. Perhaps we'll share in the next adventure. Wait, do I give it back to him? Wait, wait, what? Or was that it? No, no, no. Oh! <sighs> Darn it. I thought we had to give it back to her so she would give it away. Oh, my bad. My bad. <laughs> there it is. Serpent card. That's what I want. There we go. We're all set now. We can get in there. Like, like, hey, Amaru, I found this. Do you want? Or did, uh, did someone steal it and now we're gonna have to, like, go back and place it back into it? Here we go. There we go. That death roll. There we go. Last second, you gotta, you know, go loose, go limp. And just roll it up. You'll, you'll never take damage in real life if you do that. You can jump off a 300 story building and last second just roll out and you'll be fine. <laughs> don't do that, by the way. <laughs> Disclaimer don't do that. Alright. Here we go. Don't mind us. Give this to him. Amaru! What did that insolent priest want? It's a floating disc! What? How? Give me that! Was a phantom. <laughs> we handed it to a ghost. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's just priceless. Even in, uh, little villages there's always ghosts we had the floating disc we handed it to him we thought it was a person it was actually maybe his uh his his uh, spirit of his brother just passing it on <laughs> oh that is just priceless i love it oh my god <laughs> I wonder if uh, that that's only happened because uh, <laughs> that happened be on my, on my account. Oh my god, that's just great! All right, before we uh, go talk to the girl, I gotta change. I gotta change my clothes. I don't want to be dressed up as no uh, uh, royal guard or whatever I am. No, thank you. All right, we got we gotta swap that out real quick. All right, we gotta change our outfit. Um, I was rocking that double melee resistance. Yeah, that's what I was rocking. No, what? Ooh, I like this one. The feathered serpent. I like that one. Yeah, I think that's the one I was using. I mean, I, I barely take melee resi melee damage, anyways, but still. All right, we gotta talk to the kid again. Here we go. You're back. What have you learned? Too much, I think. What happened? I returned the cipher wheel to Amaru. Its messages have no value to the rebellion. The wheel is personal, a keepsake that represents Amaru's love for his brother Sairi. The codes point to various dead drops the brothers had, hidden throughout the city. 
One of them contained food which he had gotten from Trinity to help during the famine, but Cyrie never received the message, because by then he'd already died. Amaru wasn't always the man he is now. Whatever his faults, he still believes in doing what's best for Paititi. I know. He's always held the city and the people in it close to his heart. Along with his regrets. All right, there we go. There we go. We got a new weapon, the Silent Sting, the Scorpion, and the Hunter's Array Apex. New gear has been acquired. Cutting edge boot acquired. Running increase. <gasps> Ooh, we gotta take a look at that. Hold on a second. Okay, inventory. We got a new, uh, a new pistol. Um, right there. Boom. Uh, it. it I, apparently, I can't show it to you. Uh, but we have five upgrades for it. There it is. Ooh, look at that. A silencer. Hell yeah. Polished barrel. The damage, the accuracy, uh, the hair trigger, the rate of fire, the polished magazine, get that thing uh, nice and slick. Ooh, the extended mag, even better. Nah, we gotta go, we gotta go. First things first. Yeah, get that damage up. I'm all about the damage. Okay, and then we gotta get that extended mag. There we go, okay. Uh, do I wanna go with the hair trigger? Higher trigger sensitivity allows the increased rate of fire. Uh, I'm thinking more accuracy. Ooh, we can do an even bigger extended mag. Heck yeah! Oh my god, look at this thing. It's, it's so cool. And then we're gonna go with the polished magazine. And then can I max it out? Do I have enough? Uh, I might. Yeah, oh my gosh. There we go. It is decked out. Look at that beautiful thing. Ooh. Nice. Alright, let's take a look at the, uh, the new outfit as well. Where are you? Where are you? Outfit. Wait, wait. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's the Hunter's Array. I can't use it because I've been this. <gasps> no! There we go. There you go. Hunter's Array. Cutting edge boot for quieter running and increased duration of preparation or er, duration of perception plants. Um, increases the duration of perception plant herb effects, requires eye of the eagle skill, reduces noise from running, making it harder to detect. Awesome. And then you got the two different, we get the apex one, slightly darker version, the scale of Q. I'm going to go back to the scale of Q, the feathered serpent. I think that one looks cool as hell. Um, although this one's not bad either. This one's not bad either. Uh, enemies take um, longer to detect you, which is also in game more experience from stealth. Fortunately, I don't need that anymore, and I'm spending most of my time in the uh, city of Paititi. So there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, and if you're new, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you are new, and you're still here, why haven't you subscribed? I mean, seriously. I mean, you're obviously enjoying it. So, <laughs> uh, anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Um, and like I said, the, the next one is coming out. It's called Serpent something or another. We'll, we'll do that one. I'll try to do that the day it's released this time. That way you don't have to wait like two weeks like this week, like this one. Uh, so with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.